To do a spectrum analysis, we're going to first open a file uh, with the spectrum that you want to choose. We're going to choose the hydrogen spectrum. There it is. You can see two dots, the green and the red. Those are the laser uh, pointers that we used. Uh, we know their wavelengths, 633 nanometers and 543 nanometers. So we're going to add calibration points based on those. So I'm simply going to go and select by shifting and clicking on the green. So there's a first calibration point. Shift click on the red. There's the second one. I'm going to go up. There I'm going to put in the correct wavelengths for the green and the red light. So it's 543 and for the second one it's 633 nanometers. So now we're going to have a correct scale. The purple line that you see here is simply an axis. We don't need that. Take, take that out. Now we're going to add a track and we're going to add a line profile. So that's just going to give us the intensity of the light across a horizontal line. Shift click to start it. Then I'm just going to drag it across the section I want. There it is. And you can see on the right side a graph showing the profile of the light intensity. So very clear spikes there for your three lines. Uh, so we're simply going to take a quick look roughly where it is and scroll down on the data to see exactly where it is. So the first one is at 436 nanometers. We're going to look for the second one which is under 500 nanometers. So we're just going to drag down here a little bit. A little more. There we go. 486 or 87 nanometers. And then the last one, I have to go down towards the end. I missed it. Let's go back up. There it is. So it's at 656, 57 nanometers and that's right in line within one or two nanometers of the Balmer series. So pretty straightforward way to analyze spectrum.